Hi art friends! Hello art friends! My boyfriend is very excited to do the doodles and tea intro today. <laughs> because you say, welcome to doodles and tea. Can we just talk about, guys, the one video where Steph's not on camera, she's dressed, <laughs> you know, in a dressing gown. I've got a cup of tea over here. I know. One oh, it sugar. wouldn't be doodles and tea without it, would it? So, there's, there's my tea evidence. What flavour is that tea, hun? Uh, it's one from my Christmas advent calendar that I just discovered. It's, it's called, called Jack Frost. It's made out of Jack Frost. And this Ooh. came off my tea bag and I was devastated, so I had to use a spoon. Now today, guys, what we're going to be using is something very special that we only recently found out about. It's called Pelican, believe it or not, highlighter ink. Yeah, and it's literally a highlighter ink. Like, take a look. The yellow one's, as you probably guessed, the best one. The yellow one looks really impressive. Look at that. It's like liquid highlight. It literally is a liquid highlighter. I love it because it looks like a spooky portion. Yeah. And we thought, what better thing to draw with pelican ink? <laughs> than pelicans. Look at these pelicans. If you want to draw a pelican with us, feel free to join in. I know pelicans typically eat fish, but I did a bread thief pelican, lawyer pelican, and hipster pelican. <laughs> and then I've just got like a pelican. I want to use the yellow yeah. one. I was just going to say the bigger brush is for the yellow, the smaller one's for the green. I don't like the green one that much. It's a lot more like cloudy looking than the other one. <laughs> See how like opaque it looks? Yeah, that one's super opaque, whereas this one is super see-through and I'm not quite sure why. So we're going to be doing quite abstract pelicans by the way. I've brought in some Faber-Castell pens so you have a little doodle with. Oh, we just going straight in there. I am a I'm a brave boy. I just want to show you guys, like, I how magic this is. Of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've already started now. Well, oh, we'll, we'll find out. As you can see, well, I hope you can see, guys, once the brush is dipped in, it just looks like the brush is wet and there's nothing really on it. But if I go over here to said pelican and have a little paint, like, look at that. It's literally like a highlighter. A highlighter that you can paint with? It's I mean, crazy good. I have good. some uh, neon acrylic ink somewhere that we've never used in a video. But I think these are even better than those because they're more of like an acrylic-y texture. But I like that these are literally like... It is, yeah. Like a highlighter liquid ink. I'm so impressed with these. I want to know, guys, if I uh, if I could be so bold to suggest a poll for today's video. Oh. Have you ever met a pelican? You know, I think I once saw a pelican. You get, you get like bonus points if he was stealing bread. <laughs> I'm trying to remember my pelican story. Yeah, because you have met one. I'm sure you've met at least yeah, one. I've, I've definitely met some a couple of years ago when I was in London. Yes. And yeah. they were huge and I heard it like taking off from the water to fly. And I thought it was like a plane or something. And I turned around and I was like, oh my gosh, that is a huge bird. That is a huge plane. I mean pelican. <laughs> and then I think I saw one when I was in Florida before as well. He was sat on the side of a bridge. And I was looking at it thinking like, what on earth is that large creature? And <laughs> we went past it so fast in the car. I didn't really have a chance to properly take it in. I'm going to give this pelican a green body. And, and do let us know, guys, if you've used these before, because... Um, We've never even heard of them before, I'm considering... Yeah, yeah. I'm quite passionate about inks. And highlighters. Yeah. You freaking love highlighters. These are going to look like such disco penguins. <laughs> penguins. <laughs> pelican. You're the most beautiful disco penguin at the dance. I'm glad you've started using the green as well, so that people can see. Well, I thought I might as well, since you are using the... It's a joke, hugging the yellow. I do like the yellow, guys. I, I apologise. I definitely think the green one still looks like green highlighter. Because if you think about it, the yellow highlight is usually, like, the most toxically powerful highlighter of them all. I do like toxic, powerful art supplies. <laughs> How about a tea review, honey? Yeah, I was just about to try some. Um, it tastes like, a uh, tea. Okay, it's got a bit of a, um, a bit of a tang tang to it. A bit of a kiss to it. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have to sell tea to people. <laughs> Does it have a nice aroma? Um, let me sniff. I can smell it from here, it stinks. To be honest, it smells more like a car air freshener. Well, I don't think that's good. Okay, let's see how closely my tea review was to the tea I just reviewed. Apparently it's icy spearmint, frosty coconut, Snowflake sprinkles. I mean, that's basically what I said. So yeah, I think I got 10 out of 10 points for that one. <laughs> it's like I wrote it myself. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this highlight. No, wait, I wanna play with this brush. 
Oh, you're using the brush pen one. I'm not really fans of those. You have to let me know, guys, if you're a fan. The only, like, sort of brush one I've ever came to like is that Mangaka one that we talked about. Yeah, I was going to say the Mangaka one's sort of like a brush one. It's Although, I think I've seen them listed as, like, Fude or Fude. Yeah, they have, a, they have a quite an interesting name. Yeah, they're less wobbly than your usual brush pen. And great for heavy-handed chaps like me. Yeah, I already feel like I'm falling out of this brush pen. <laughs> <laughs> I go through phases with them where, like, I really love them. And then you hate them. Look, my hands have been a bit wobbly, so... Yes, yeah. I find brush pens are really unforgiving with hand wobbles. <laughs> That's a one mistake, like, with inking... Well, with inking anything, really. And you're done for. <laughs> you're done for. <laughs> I mean, there are ways to, like, I was going to say cheat the system and, like, cover <laughs> over your mistakes in artwork. Which pen are you using? It's a Faber Castle. Oh, you've got a Faber Castle yeah. as well. Yeah, we're using the same cut. If you are curious, guys, there you go. Faber Castle fine liners. They came, they came in a set that you got, didn't is, Isn't that right? Did yeah. you get them a while ago now? It's because I was getting those autumn pens. Oh, oh God, wow. You that is the autumn a long pens. time ago, yeah. That's from autumn. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. I've just remembered another set of those pens that I'd like to get my hands on one day. Oh yeah, well, what, which one of those? Well, I'll keep it as a surprise, oh, and then okay. it'll be my theme colour palette for a while. Oh no. <laughs> look forward to that, everyone. That's if it happens. <laughs> Potentially look forward to it, guys, but I'm not making any promises. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Don't get too attached to that idea. Oh, great. Yeah, remember to use this brush. The little one. Oh, that's actually yeah. kind of useful, because I want to give uh, Lawyer Pelican a green tie. A lot of you guys uh, were quite into being drawn as beavers in the Draw the Subscriber video as well. I was quite surprised at just how much you guys were into that. Yeah, I think it's there's a demand for it, you know? There's a demand. It's a bit of a niche, but no one's doing it, so everyone's wanting it. I'm not used to using this pen. You need, like, a lot more precision with, like, a teeny tiny... Oh, yeah, definitely. Nightmare. There can be a nightmare. Did you notice that I gave Lawyer Pelican some flip-flops as well? Oh yeah, why is he wearing flip-flops? Because he, yeah, he hasn't won very many cases, so he had to sell his shoes. <laughs> but yeah, he wears little flip-flops because they're comfortable and they help him solve solve the crime. Solve the case. Yeah. <laughs> they don't really fit his feet properly, but that's okay. I like how stylized your pelicans are. But so yours are too. Uh, I think mine's got more of like a... An uncanny realistic touch to it. I think she's very pretty. I like her hairdo. It feels nice to be doing a doodles and tea again. Yeah, it's been a while again, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we've still been uploading, just... Uh, the last one was a sketchbook tour, I think. That one was really fun. I, I really enjoy looking back at your art. I was surprised to see how much, like, my artwork sort of come along in that sketchbook. Well, you're always improving. Just more so, like, how old some of the early stuff in it was, because I was sort of expecting it to be, like, stuff from, I don't know, the past, like, six months or so, so it was kind of a shock to see how old some of the <laughs> drawings stuff's were. ancient! I, I like it, honey. I think you're always improving. You're, a, you're an inspiration to me, and I'm sure a lot of you guys watching, too. I have no idea what colour pelican legs are, but you know what? I've already done this in neon green and neon yellow, so I'm allowed to just paint them whatever colour I would like to. Does your pelican lady have a name? Pelicana. She likes drinking Tropicana. <laughs> Is she available? I know of a lawyer penguin that would like to <laughs> She might be. She hasn't decided. <laughs> <laughs> I do a rich lawyer. <laughs> I'll be available if you'll make She's currently in a relationship, songs. but yeah, she can make arrangements if she likes someone <laughs> else. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm sorry, but lawyer Pelican lives for justice. And <laughs> if she's cheating on him, he's not going to want to know. Oh, I might do these loop de loop bits in yellow, because why not? I think this feels like a bit different to how I'd normally approach something, but I'm trying to be less strict on myself with stuff like that lately. Oh yeah, definitely. Because I go through like these phases with my artwork where I get really loose with my artwork and I'm like, I'll use any medium, I can scribble on any page in my sketchbook and I just get really, really free with it. Yeah. Then after a while I see someone else with like a really refined art style and then I'm like, <laughs> Oh, I should really, like, define my art yeah, style. Yeah, like, I want to do that. Yeah, so then I put more limitations on it, because art styles tend to appear more through limitations. So, for example, if you say I'm only allowed to use, like, a red Crayola pen and a blue watercolour for all my artwork for my next hundred pieces, that's going to create, like, a really unique art style. Well, that's kind of like what you're doing right now. Yeah, exactly. 
And I feel like I'm going back to like my free side here where I'm just experimenting <laughs> with whatever. But I always worry with like the two because it's sort of a balance with the two. When I start doing lots of stuff that does all look the same, part of me is like, yay, this looks like an art style. But then another part of me is like, I'm getting kind of bored of my art style now. I want to sort of You want to change it? Again. Yeah. Oh, that's cool though. I mean, you're keeping everything fresh. Yeah, I just need to get better at not imposing such strict roles on myself because I am good at doing that. You're good at being strict to yourself, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Like the almost have an imaginary brief for their own fun artwork that's not even for a client or anything, but you've got like these bullet points in your head like, oh, well, it has to have this and it needs to have this and it needs to tick this box and if it doesn't look like this, then... <laughs> I can't upload it on my Instagram because it won't fit in with the aesthetic. Oh. It's like having an imaginary friend that's no fun. It just ruins you know, everything. I feel like sometimes. <laughs> I've drawn quite a few things recently and none of it's on my Instagram because I'm scared that it's not good enough to be on my Instagram. Oh, you, you must never be worried about that, hun. Your art's wonderful, but what about you guys? Do you ever go through that? Ooh. You reach, oh, you reach it, okay. I think the only reason that mentality started to creep in is because, like, slowly over time, my Instagram's garnered, like, a little bit of a following behind Yes, it. it does now, yeah. So, whereas, like, once upon a time, because it felt like no one cared about my artwork, it was really no. easy to just, oh, like... Oh, no! Don't say that! <laughs> but it just felt a lot easier to just upload whatever. There was yeah. no sort of pressure behind it. And no one's ever said anything bad about it, and even if they did, I wouldn't particularly be like distraught. You'd be like, oh, you're a horrible person, go away. It's, it's more so myself. I fear the criticism of myself. Oh, no. No, your artwork's beautiful. You taught me how to draw, you're amazing, hun. I wonder if I could layer any of this to make like shadows. Oh, that's brave. Yeah, I'm getting too brave. No, no, that's good, go for it. <laughs> okay, that looks like it's looking darker, but we'll have Ooh, to see if it yeah, dries. Yeah, or... that looks good. Have you guys tried any new art supplies recently as well? You'll have to yeah. let us know. you got to let us know because we're, you know us, we're always open to trying new ones. If you've got something fancy you're sitting on, well, get off it and let me know about it. <laughs> Stop sitting on it, first. Yeah, <laughs> it could be uncomfortable. And I might do this bit down here to look like a shadow. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know whether to call it the iron. Ooh. It'd be, you'd need some precision to get in there, hun. I think it would look cool in yellow, but because there's so much yellow already on the face, it might look too yellow. A bit so too much, yeah. I might do it green, but then I don't know whether it'd look good green. I know pelicans most probably don't have green eyes. <laughs> you know, you just gotta let go. You gotta be free, you gotta... That's what you should be telling yourself about your art and stuff. <laughs> I know! Just do it! A little bit of shadow of it. And was I going to paint the eye green? Yeah, yeah. I you were debating quite I was fiercely. Debating, yeah. <laughs> Let's just do it. I'll try to do it like a, a finish layer so then at least it's not too. Yeah, okay, yeah. Committed. I like rubbing the ink off on these. Oh, you're Bob Ross in it. <laughs> yeah, that's what he does, isn't it? He just goes. I just beat the devil out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he actually says? Beat the devil out of it. Yeah, that's like what, that became like one of his most fav uh, famous phrases. I don't think I'm very good at uh, writing stuff. Some people have um, a real knack and skill for typography. I guess oh, that's what it's called. There's like, um, you see like videos and GIFs of these people with like fountain pens oh, and I they know. do such amazing like text stuff. And they can do like Coca-Cola logos by just going like, <laughs> it's just done. <laughs> just, by, just by grunting at the paper. <laughs> I remember in uh, secondary school we had like an art test thing where we had to do a still life. Yeah. And we had to draw crisp packets and soda cans. Oh god, that's a rite of passage in this country in art oh, class. Did you do that? Yeah, as we well? had to do exactly that. Let the same. me know down below, guys, if you had to do anything like that. And the thing that I struggled with most with it was like all the writing and typography on the cans and the packets. Yes, yeah. So I just did like generic school bubble writing and it really killed it. <laughs> oh, is that a jumper? Yeah, this is his little jumper, yeah. It's kind of like a turtle shell. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's green, so it could be. <laughs> he's probably like, um, oh, I got this from a turtle, but you probably wouldn't know about it. Because he's like a hipster guy. Can you remember when the term hipster, like, first came around? Oh, no. It just sort of appeared. No, I remember people using the word hipster, and I remember I was just like, what on earth is a hipster? Because in England, this was around the time when people were 
either chavs or emos. Oh my gosh. Or slash moshes <laughs> or goths or whatever. Is there still like a separation like that in schools? Are yeah. you like this thing or you are this thing? Comment down below your school politics. Oh, we've got green on my hand. Okay guys, here's what we managed to create with Pelican Ink. Do let us know if you join in. If you draw like a neon pelican, make sure to tag us in it. I'm gonna post a mystery video somewhere on screen here now. And don't forget to like and subscribe so I can see you next time for another doodle date. Doodle date! Bye for now guys! Ah! <laughs>